If it's time to refresh your home theater and it's been a while since you last did it, a term you've likely run across in the meantime is Dolby Atmos. But what exactly is it? In this video, we'll explain what it is and why you love it, so stick around. Audio is obviously a major component of any home theater, and it can be intimidating to try and figure out what all the terms mean, especially if you're a novice, but it's not as difficult as what you may think. You've probably heard the terms 5.1 or 7.1 before. Those numbers indicate how many channels a surround sound system has. The first number tells you how many speakers are around the room, and the point one is for the subwoofer. Those systems are meant to have three speakers in the front to give you left, right, and center channels, and either two or four speakers in the back for your rear channels. When you're dealing with Dolby Atmos, in addition to those five or 7.1 numbers, you'll see another number after the point one. Typically, it'll be a two, but you may also see a four. These indicate height-focused speakers. So a 5.1.2 channel system will have a left, right, and center channel in the front, a left and right channel at the rear, and two speakers either in the ceiling facing down or two speakers facing up towards the ceiling to reflect the sound down. It's those height speakers that set an Atmos system apart from a traditional surround sound system. The other thing to keep in mind when you're talking about Atmos is the processing. In a traditional system, you're dealing with audio that is designed to work on a horizontal plane. Atmos brings vertical audio into the mix. For example, in a standard 5.1 system, if an airplane flies across the screen and off, you'll hear the sound move from your front speakers to the rear speakers. But that's not what would happen in real life if a plane flew over your head. And that's where Atmos processing comes in. Now, instead of the system seeing the plane as just audio to play through speakers, it sees it as an object moving through the air. So you'll hear the plane coming out the front speakers, then overhead through the height speakers, and finally around back through the rear channels. This provides a far more immersive experience to the listener through the use of spatial audio. And it's not just for movies. Now you can find streaming shows that utilize Dolby Atmos audio, music from your favorite artists, and even video games. It really adds a whole new level of enjoyment to whatever you're listening to. It makes you feel like you're part of the experience instead of just listening from afar. Now that you have a better idea of what Atmos is, let's talk about what parts are required to make it work. You'll find Atmos content on streaming services and Blu-ray discs. Just look for the logo. Then you need to make sure your audio system supports it, whether that's through a soundbar or an AV receiver. Soundbars are easy because the speakers are built in and ready to go. If you're using an AV receiver, you'll need to make sure your speakers are set up properly. There are speakers designed with Atmos audio in mind, but just about any speaker can work as long as it's positioned properly. Finally, the source will need to be connected to the soundbar or receiver with an HDMI cable. There are some products that can do it wirelessly, but in most cases an HDMI cable is required. And that's really all there is to it. To learn more about Dolby Atmos or for assistance finding Atmos products to add to your home theater system, be sure to contact the audio experts here at Apt. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.